All right, so I thought it'd be appropriate for the uh, next one in this tutorial series I'm doing to do the Billy because he's the next person you unlock in Dead by Daylight Mobile and he is one of the killers available in the base game of Dead by Daylight on both console and PC. So Billy, he's a really unique killer in the sense of he has gen control. Not a lot of killers actually have gen control. They have things to help them in certain situations, such as Trapper has uh, a lack of loopability. It's pretty hard, uh, or it's pretty easy, sorry, to cut loops out if you're playing the Trapper or the Hag. And the Doctor, the Wraith, the Shape, they all don't really have anything going for them in terms of patrolling gens and making sure that the gens don't get done as their killer power. So the way his, ki uh, his power works is he rubs up his chainsaw right over his head and he goes completely insane and just starts uh, running around the map with a chainsaw over his head. I'm going to make sure I turn the main volume down quite a bit because this chainsaw is really loud and I want to talk over him. I don't want it that low. Oh my gosh. Right there. And I can turn the music down a little bit. Hopefully that's still enough for people to hear, but not so much that it's making your ears bleed or you cannot hear me. The way... Woo! Excuse me. The way Billy is played is he's supposed to patrol the generators and be able to get to a gen all the way across the map really quickly. Okay, it says, once revved up, it is sent into a violent frenzy. Uh, he breaks into a crazed sprint. So he is a very, very good killer. He is considered an A tier. If you, are, if you can look at a tier list and you can imagine tippity top of all the killers, He's right up there. He's a really viable killer to use, especially on console and PC. I'm not sure on Dead by Daylight Mobile just because of the controls and stuff. But his three teachable perks is Tinkerer. Uh, when a generator is almost completely repaired, it gives a loud noise notification, and your tear radius is c gone to zero. And your red light that's in front of you is completely gone. It's called the undetectable status effect. It's gone for eight seconds. Enduring, uh, if a pallet is stop, uh, dropped on your head, or any stun for that matter, it reduces that by 40%, which is pretty strong because of the way you play Billy. Lightborn, I'm not a fan of this perk, but uh, you are, have a resistance to being blind, and you recover from blindness 50% faster, all at their base level. I'm probably going to level him up a little bit before I hop into a game. But I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube, and as I'm talking about this, I'll up my blood web, about people teaching the best way to play Billy and stuff. And normally they either have a five minute video of them talking about that, or an hour long. And they say, oh, it's the complete tutorial, you'll know everything there is to know about Billy. Which is, that can be true. You can know a lot about a killer, but until you play a killer, the knowledge you have on it is relatively useless. So I've played Hillbilly a few times. I'm not an expert at him, but I do know how to play him and, and the right way to play him and the wrong way. And I see a lot of people teaching the wrong way. So I'm going to throw on as my other perk, Barbecue and Chili. Uh, I know it's not a perk that comes base with the game, but it's the perk I like to use, and it gives me bonus blood points. Might as well use it. Like I said in the other one, always put on one of these uh, blood point offering. I'm going to put on the sacrifice one, just so it gives you that extra. And you can use any amount of things you want. I'm going to do uh, vegetable oil. So he puts it on his chainsaw for some reason, because that's what you do and it just recovers his cooldown speed. We're gonna hop into a match here. We're gonna see how it, see how it goes, and I'm gonna explain to you how to do it. The basic premise to play Hillbilly is to apply gen pressure, not so much 
uh, for downing or having control over the survivors, but it's having control over every single gen. If you're on the other side of the map, it'll take you easily 15 seconds to get to the other side. So it's really, really quick, especially if it's not an indoor map. Watch, I bet you we're going to get a indoor map, and Hillbilly does not excel very well at those maps. His chainsaw does give him an insta-down advantage, which puts a lot of pressure on survivors, especially if you uh, engage in a chase. And if a chase lasts 15 seconds and they're instantly down, well then, <laughs> it's going to be bad news for the other survivors because they have to go save. And if they want to complete the gen they're on, then they have to wait 30 seconds. And that's enough time for her to go into, or the person you down to go into the second stage. So, this killer is very, very strong and it is used by a lot of com in competitive and just killers in general. High ranking killers, they want to win games. If you want to win a lot of games and you master Hillbilly, you'll, you'll win those games, trust me. <clears throat> the only downside of using Hillbilly, like I said, or, well, I implied it, is that you don't really get pressure on the survivors themselves. You have, a, you have quite a bit of gen pressure, but a survivor can still loop you. You have nothing against that. The hag can place her traps near a pallet. The trapper can trap a pallet. With the hillbilly, you have to eat the pallet. And by eating the pallet, I mean when they're looping you around it, you have to either swing through the pallet so they'll drop it. And that's why he has enduring. Because with enduring, that's reduced. You can uh, level up trapper. Use brutal strength, and then you're able to continue on the chase and gain a lot of ground. You cannot make loop, you can't negate loops. You just have to learn the loops if you're going to play this killer. Instead of having this game of Dead by Daylight, because most of the recording got corrupted, I'm going to have to show uh, a little montage of some of the loops and stuff. And I might play it over music, I might not. Depends on how I feel. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed that montage. Uh, I got another game 
that I played after I realized the recording was no good. So here's some of that. So basically with Hillbilly, you have a lot of gen pressure. And what you want to do is you want to try to optimize that as much as possible. Try not to get into too many really bad chases. Uh, if you can, don't be greedy and try to zzzz and then chainsaw somebody, especially if you're new and you don't know how to control the chainsaw too well. If you don't know how to control the chainsaw, I recommend just using it as a mobility tool. A uh, way of you know, getting from one side of the map to the other. Because even that just makes them a, b a good killer and better off than using other ones. Alright, we went to the swamp, which is not too, too, too good. Because there's a bunch of stuff and I'm bad at controlling the hillbilly. We're gonna go this way. So I have a feeling that they're over here. Which they are. Right up there. Dude, I didn't even see you. Yeah, good, good, uh, job. I don't know why you got stunned for so long, Billy. Alright, so... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, trying not to get too, too greedy with that. I see you up there, man. How did... Oh my gosh, dude, that guy is being so annoying. Holy crap. There's a dude to my left, I hear him. Watch, I'm going to get really greedy here. Yep, I freaking knew it. Ew. I, I hate this map because of the slashing on the ground. Okay. That was a mistake. Yo, no balance landing, dude. I heard you. Uh, now I see both of you. Yeah, that was not that good. The other one's over there. I can faintly hear them. I'm sorry. So basically what I did in this game uh, so far, just to do a quick little recap. Yep, you're down, and I'm gonna hit you. That didn't make too much sense, did it? Uh, <laughs> basically what I did is I chainsawed over here, because I'm like, ah, there's gotta be somebody over here. And of course there was. Oh, you had DS. Good, 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 good. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you. I want to. I want this dude now. But basically, I was able to get over here really quickly, which is what's causing this to happen right now. So one person disconnected from the game because I hooked them right off the bat. They were just a wee bit salty. Uh, the minion person just used decisive strike because I downed her. Other dude. Other guys right up here. Go for you, why not? Oh, shoot, man. I did not mean to do that. Base, so this game is kind of hard to show as well. Uh, exactly how to use Billy. 
just because there were so many there was a DC already in the game but that right there showcases it well uh, really what Billy is all about I think I'm actually gonna use this footage she's not even wiggling on my shoulder as a survivor here's a quick quick tip always wiggle because I would have uh, been she would have been off my shoulder right here that would have been done don't do that that makes me really angry and I'm gonna just run over here and smack her now you're in here dude that did nothing for you yeah you ain't getting that dude It's in the killer shack pallet, bum. She's gonna rescue her off the hook. Okay. Wow, these survivors make absolutely Survivors make absolutely no sense. Whoa, I missed. Oh, now I know exactly where you are. Um, another quick tip. Look up. Just straight up. Don't even, like... I can't hook you anywhere. It just looks straight up if someone's trying to flashlight you. If you're picking somebody up, look at a wall. Try to at least if you know someone in the game has a flashlight or something. But yeah, I showed that it has high mobility. I was able to get over there way quicker than I would be able to with any other killer. Uh, I mean, that was a terrible game. But I did get a merciless killer. And, or, yeah, they got no gens done. But that kind of goes to show. He had no help with him in pallets. I had to use my own my own brain in order to do that and I might throw in some other stuff uh, throw in some loops and stuff that I've done uh, with Billy uh, and show you just exactly how you have to mind game and stuff in order to use him because that's all you can do at pallets the only thing you can do is mind game uh, another thing to note is the flashlight, obviously. Just look up. That's all you gotta do. Uh, a lot of people try to do it. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm gonna just bring in a flashlight. Or, so all three of these people had flashlights, and the only thing I did to avoid them was just look up. I only got flashlighted once, I believe, and that was just because of me being stupid. The other thing uh, to really look for as hillbilly is scratch marks. So if you're riding around on your chainsaw and you see scratch marks, that's because they saw you, 100%. They saw you coming over there, so they are not far from that area. Just follow the scratch marks, and you'll be able to get into the chase. I don't really recommend Hillbilly for newer players. If you feel like you have a grasp on what you think Dead by Daylight is, com completely recommend you use them. It'll help you learn how pallets work. It'll help you learn exactly what to do in a given situation. The next person I'm gonna do on this thing is the Wraith. I might not do it today, I might do it tomorrow, but the Wraith I think is a really, really strong killer as long as you make him strong. And he has the same problem Hillbilly does, is he has no help with pallets. But I hope this was informative, uh, using his chainsaw as high mobility, but you gotta make sure you are good at chases and this will help you get better at them so you can use other killers like spirit and bubba <laughs> alright y'all know my outro throughout this entire quarantine thing stay home stay safe stay healthy god bless